eight months into the journey. I remember these verses, but I can never just remember the chapter and the um, verse numbers. So I'm going to look up this verse. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Amen. Some things I need to be delivered from. It's not a laughing matter though, because times are real right now. We gotta get right. I gotta get right. I ain't no time to play. Because another scripture comes to mind when I said that. Revelation 16 5 Behold, I am coming like a thief in the night. You gotta be quicker than that. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked and be seen exposed. Spiritually, you can be in the wrong doing something out of God's will and he comes like a thief in the night. And there you are. You, you know you are out of his will and you see this happening. Wow. But you knew. I don't want to be seen exposed when he comes. I just want to do right. I just want to bring peace to this world just like he did. I want to be who he was. Because, man, that man. It's when I learned about him in the Bible, I'm like, this man. He just, he just tell a story and a riddle and make people think and scratch their head. Like, what? But then they think about it and like they it's true, but it it convicts them. Some people take that conviction and it edifies them, but other people get mad and they want to fight it and be like, no, I want it this. It should be the way we want it. You know, it's not about what you want. It's about the truth. Message. Message, Kim. Anyway, this is supposed to be a vlog video. I don't know what this turned into. This turned into church, girl. But it's real out here, and I feel something in the atmosphere. been quarantined now for the last 27 years you know but i re twisted my hair a couple of days ago i was trying to put this little charm that i have on my hair but i'm discovering now that my locks 
I can't find a big enough block uh, in width for this to just hold on to without just totally slipping off. So, let's see. just the right amount of tension that I need to make sure that it doesn't slip off. I haven't been using the little latch hook to get the little frizzies back in the lock. If I feel the need to, I will, but I haven't felt the need to and I don't think I need to be using it long term anyway. I feel like it helped my locks mature faster. I am eight months but they're pretty like it's looser right here and you can probably tell you can see the two strand twists that's where it's looser but the rest of that is pretty much like teenage locks so i'm happy it's good it's all good again in these quarantined dallas hoods also if you have an unruly lock that's like going every which way, like I was talking about in my last video, slide something on it that's circular and keep it there for a few days and watch how those little uncontrollable patterns that your locks create, if you don't want it, watch how it conforms to the, to the cylinder shape of that jewel. Thank you guys for watching my video and thank you for my new subscribers that lets me know that y'all are enjoying my content and continue to do the work of making this world a better place. Not for real, for real. Peace out, guys.